Hey, hey, what's up guys? Hope you're all doing really well. Today I want to share with you, um, more recent Lego set, this, this thing's been selling like hotcakes. Um, at least in my local stores, they seem to, as soon as they stock up there, these are gone really quickly. Um, and this was a set just as a part of the latest lot of sets that was, uh, yeah, definitely on the top of the cards, cards for my liking. Um, just mainly for the minifigures alone, because, uh, yeah, finally got a um, old uh, Luke and the Resistance Outfit Ray, and we get a little Porg as well. So this is a set 75-200, Arc 2 Island Training. Um, someone pointed out when I got this that uh, they don't have the pieces listed on here. Um, we never have here in Australia, they never have, um, or at least not some of these smaller sets, and... Um, yeah, they just don't print the pieces, whereas in the US they seem to have a print there that says how many pieces actually come in the set. But so unfortunately, I can't tell you that offhand unless I do some research. Just look at the features on the back of the set, which is pretty cool. So there's Luke on the side there. And that's pretty much the box. I can throw that out now. Now let's get in close and have a look at this set, set here. I'm just going to bring my lights in a little bit closer. Uh, yeah, definitely, definitely a great set. I really, really do like this one. The set. It's pretty cool. Um, might toss up getting another one and just having so I can have a second hut just to sort of make a little bit more of a scene out of it because I, I really like it. I think it's cool. Um, so first we'll have a look at the minifigs, we'll start with uh, Ray here in a resistance outfit. <clears throat> I hope one day Lego do get into arm printing, obviously that's just another expense. But uh, I think they'd be cool. They've done it with a few. They did it with a uh, 3PO um, with the red arm most recently. They did some printing on the arms. But uh, you know where Ray's got the sort of shoulder cut off and the sleeve that sort of wraps up the arm would be cool. And you've seen some cool customs people have done. So it's a nice minifigure. It comes with a lightsaber and a staff which I've got uh, leaning up against there. Really great minifig. Nice sort of long brown hair. I'm glad they didn't go with the grey. But I really like his robes. They're printed really nicely. And I love the I love the grey robotic hand. I think that's cool. If you switch around. It's a bit more aggressive looking face. I hope we get the uh, I hope we get the look with the uh, more brown sort of exile outfit that he you know goes fishing in. I think that would be a great great one to have as well. But this one's pretty nice. Awesome to have Luke. And now we'll have a look at the little porg, which is a little buildable minifig. It's not technically a minifig, but printing on the head is pretty cool. I wish they'd just done like a little um, just done a little creature like they've done the Womp Rat. Um, so I guess in that vein would be would be nice, but this is cool too. This is all right. It'd be cool if it come with two or three of them instead of one, but again, that's fine. So I'm putting them aside. I'll take a look at the set itself. So we've got Luke's hut here. I'll just move that out of the way. So down at the front, I want a little fish back there. We'll have a look inside in a sec. 
It's got a little fire sort of place here that they sit around. I added this little grass piece here in little stem. Um, yeah, I'll just add that in just because. And we've got this sort of feature wheel here that Ray stands on, so a little bit of an attack thing, so she can attack the stone and uh, bust it open. And there's a crystal in there. Obviously, nothing like that happened in the movie. Well, she did bust a rock open, but there was nothing in it. <laughs> but, you know, it's a cool little play feature. I generally just move that out of the way and take that off and have it as just a little extra area. But, uh, that's okay. I like the uh, cloth here for the for the door. If you've got a X-Wing panel, X-Wing panel would be nice have a me metallic looking door that can swing open but the cloth works that works fine roof is uh, made just so you can pop that off so you can access the inside a little more now there's the grass thing is falling off so you go in here and you've got you know Luke's bed, you know, Luke's staff that he comes with, little bits and pieces, he's got a bucket there, that fish is meant to sit in that little bucket, this little coffee cup, a little mug, a little lamp, lift that up, he's got some uh, hidden herbs, a little food store. You got this little feature here where you flick that thing down and that side pops off. I'm not sure why. Doesn't really do much. I was sort of building that building that part. I don't know, don't know why they did that. It's a little bit, you know, just another play feature for the for the young ones, I guess. And his bed flips up so you got a little bit more room to have a look around in there. It's on top. So it's not a bad little set. It's a little bit, uh, you know, they seem to do these little half sets these days. They just put a couple of little play features in them and then and they sort of leave it. But this one looks it looks nice. It's a nice little hut. And um, yeah, I'll definitely get another one and maybe just tweak the build a little bit so it looks similar but not the same. Um, and just maybe get a green base plate and have them side by side just to just to explain the expand the display area a little bit more um, I think that'd be quite cool but um, yeah so it's Luke's hut on arc 2 I don't know how else you pronounce it um, they didn't actually say the name of the island in the movie but I've always just called it arc 2 um, I've heard people say Atch 2, Atch Toe, Arc Toe. That's up to you, I guess. Um, but yeah, cool little set. Definitely recommend this one. It's actually reasonably priced. Um, down here in Australia, it's about 35 to 40 bucks, which is about right. Um, it probably could have been a little bit more, but I think that's a fair price for a set with minifigs down here in Australia anyway, so... You know, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for some more coming soon. And uh, until next time, may the force be with you.